The 2022 Men's FIFA World Cup promises to add to Qatar's status as the Middle East sporting hub and a burgeoning global power in the business of sport. The spectacular Aspire City regularly welcomes international teams and tournaments, while the 3 2 1 Olympic and Sports Museum features iconic artifacts from global sports. However, before we begin our countdown, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. Although Qatar is hardly renowned as a sports performer, it has brought the world of sports to its door. Indeed, sport, along with tourism, is expected to be a key part of Qatar's economic future given its finite reserves of oil and gas. Yet Qatar's status as World Cup host has been highly controversial. Why is that so? And how have FIFA and Qatar maneuvered to deflect criticism? Bend it like FIFA! In 2010, Qatar was the surprise winner of a FIFA vote to stage the 2022 World Cup, a decision critics put down to nefarious influences beyond the bid itself. It was difficult to reconcile how Qatar, with average daytime summer temperatures over 40, was an ideal environment for this tournament. A few years later, in an unprecedented pivot, FIFA allowed Qatar to move the event to its winter, even though that would disrupt prestigious football schedules in the Northern Hemisphere. So despite some critics calling for the World Cup to be taken from Qatar, this spatially tiny Gulf country, with an exceptionally rich economy from oil and gas, had defiantly retained the imprimatur of the FIFA family. Renewed Pressure However, FIFA's endorsement of Qatar was soon under renewed pressure, for two main reasons. First, critics reasserted their dismay that the host nation is hostile to same-sex culture. In 2010, FIFA was well aware of Qatar's position that homosexuality is an affront to Islam, but it also accepted that Qatar would not resile from its cultural norms. In response, then FIFA president Sepp Blatter clumsily quipped that LGBTQI plus football fans might refrain from amorous activities while in Qatar. Second, Qatar had allowed vulnerable foreign workers, who were central to building World Cup infrastructure, to be exploited, with employment and living conditions consistent with modern slavery. While it's difficult to procure precise figures, a February 2021 investigation by The Guardian estimated there were around 6,500 workplace fatalities in the decade after Qatar was awarded the World Cup. While not all were working specifically on tournament facilities, experts say most were employed on infrastructure developments that support the event. Human Rights The Western-led reticence towards Qatar being anointed World Cup host undoubtedly spurred an awakening of what has been described as FIFA's sensitivity to human rights. Two developments stand out. First, facing concerted pressure about human rights, the FIFA statutes were amended in 2013 to declare that discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation is strictly prohibited and punishable by suspension or expulsion from football. However, World Cup hosts Russia, 2018, and Qatar, 2022, already held contracts to stage the event in accordance with their own laws and customs, which are hostile to homosexuality. FIFA, by choosing not to press the issue of sexual freedom with either scheduled host, was in effect delaying the application of the anti-discrimination measures embedded in its amended statute of 2013. So that's it for today. If you find this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, Thanks for watching and see you next time.